I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the carb on this Echo PAS-225. Uh, this unit, I've got an hour meter on it actually. Uh, it has 15.2 hours and it's never run right from brand new. And up underneath the carb, you'll see that black plastic surrounded by brass and that is a anti-tamper plug mandated by the EPA and we're going to be removing that and adjusting the high speed jet on here. First I want to get it warmed up and show you the symptoms that it exhibits and um, I'm sure a lot of you are experiencing the same thing so uh, first I'm going to take it outside and get it warmed up and uh, we'll go from there alright so hopefully you can see uh, just you know not running optimally now I've had success getting these plugs out with a uh, Torx T9 and um, if that doesn't bite it uh, sometimes a T10 the T10 is right on the edge of being too large uh, it actually has a little lip around the outside and a little well in there and um, you can end up all you're grabbing is that lip and it's a threaded plug. So this one is actually stripped out. And I'm going to be just using a ground down uh, straight screwdriver here. Uh, it's, it's narrowed down, but it's also sharpened to a point. Now, this plug here is being particularly difficult. I'm going to heat up the screwdriver to push through the plug. Um, sometimes you can just stab through it if, you know, the Torx bits have failed and you're on this step here. Uh, but I don't want to push too much harder even though this is sharpened. Uh, I don't want to sh end up shattering the plug and be trying to pick out pieces. So, um, off camera I'm just going to heat it up with a little, uh, handheld torch. Don't want to direct flame towards this for obvious reasons. So I just felt it go through the plug. It's almost out. All right, well now you guys are gonna get to witness uh, worst case scenario. So the plug is just crumbling in there. And uh, normally I would try these methods first because you have that black plastic plug is only about that long. And right behind that is the brass jet uh, that you can actually adjust. So you have to be careful drilling it out so that you do not damage the slot in the jet. Uh, absolute worst case scenario, you do drill too far and you could just get a new jet. Um, but the bit diameter is the key here. All right, so I'm gonna be drilling this out with a 764 spit.
and that right there is the, what's left of the plug. And now you can see the jet up in there, undamaged, with the slot in it for adjustment. So our next step is going to be establishing uh, baseline turns of where it had been. That's one turn in. It's about one and a half. So we're back where we started now and uh, going to go outside and uh, run it, tune it and find the sweet spot and test uh, how much better it is. All right, so you're going to see me manipulating that new adjustment that we've uncovered. And I'm sweeping back and forth through it, uh, running rich, running lean, and getting a feel for the adjustment range of the carburetor. At some times when I'm trying to make a fine-tune adjustment it may look as if I'm moving the screwdriver quite a bit but I'm moving in eighth of a turn intervals and what we're looking to do here is back the screw out slowly until the engines running so rich that it starts to stumble and then dial back in which is making it leaner and you'll hear the revs really pick up and right about that point, you're going to want to back back out on the screw about an eighth of a turn. And obviously we're doing all this tuning with no load on the engine. But backing out that eighth of a turn is going to put it about where it needs to be. It may be just on the rich side doing that, and that's what we want is, uh, you know, that extra fuel and oil in that fuel is going to be helping to cool the engine and provide the lubrication that it needs. The reason why these are blanked off for two reasons. One, EPA restrictions. And two, the manufacturer doesn't necessarily want you leaning out the equipment and burning it up. So, after you get it running, uh, you know, ideal like this, what you're going to want to do is depending on the attachment you're running on this because this is like the uh, echo version of the combi system uh, you're going to want to run your attachment with it in that load situation you are probably going to have to tune it slightly um, if anything you're probably going to end up uh, enriching it just a little bit more so anyway it's something that you're going to have to uh, feel out and get it adjusted to best suit your needs